What is up everybody my name is Rahul and in this video we'll be looking at a challenge called documents which is a part of forensics category in the MLSC capture the flag competition now one of the reasons that I really like this comp challenge is because it has macros embedded and I got to learn more about macros and how attackers can obfuscate uh, uh, malicious scripts in the form of macros so let's just get straight into it if I were to type in ls, you can see that we get the attachment which is totally secure doc.docm. The m at the end tells us that there are macros in it. So one of the ways in which you can find out macros, uh, you can find out macros is by opening it up in LibreOffice or Microsoft Office. But that would take quite a while and I do not have Microsoft Office or LibreOffice installed. So one of the things that you can do is fire up tools called or use tools called only dump so only dump lets you dump macros and other such scripts so let's just use python 3 only dump dot py and totally secure dot docm and as you can see we get to quite a lot of things now if you were to look at capital m this tells you that there are macros involved in it and the third one is the stream so what we'll be doing is we'll be using a plugin called only dump dot py dag s3 stream and we'll be using a plugin called vba decompress patterns um, pattern attributes and we'll be redirecting it to stream 7 dot text so s3 tells us the stream and 3 tells us that it is stream number 3 3 is because we use 3 because as you can see there is m in front of there is 3 there is m in front of 3 so and we'll be redirecting it to stream 7 dot text so now that we have it, let us less it, less stream.txt and as you can see, we get this script as our answer, which is a decap decrypted format. So as you can see, there is a function declared sub flag three, so, sorry flag, and there are two variables as string that are declared. One of them is fl, the second is flag. Now fl contains all the characters that are supposed to be involved in a flag and flag is what contains our actual flag. So what I did here was I copied all of this and I pasted it in one of the online uh, interpreters. And as a matter of fact, I did format so that things would get a bit easier. So here what we can do is now we can type in our, we can make our own script user bin env python and let's just type in flag fl is equal to this part now I've copied it and then we go for the flag flag now there are few things to consider right over here there are two functions that are being used the first is middle function and third is and the second is the left function so the left function will what it, what it will do is it will take the text and it will take another parameter which is the length so it will take so on the result will be the text from the left hand side up till this character so it will take the first 100 characters from the left and if it is from middle it will take middle will take generally two parameters but it can also take one parameter so mid when one if it takes just one parameter then middle is just equivalent to left so let's just try it so let's just use fl and here the first big first character begins with the first begins with one but in python we know that it begins with the zeroth index so we'll be using 34 and because it is the first one we'll be using 0 to 1 and let's just see if we get anything python 3 pay.py as you can see we get the first character which is m and our flag format is in mlsc format so this is what i had to do so let's just try one more the second one is up to the 24th character so it will be 23 fl 23 and 0 1 so let's just see if we get 
python pay.by as you can see we get the second character from our flag which is ml so likewise what i did was i made so likewise i made all of this all of these structures so as you can see i have done all of this and once i run it you can see we get our flag which is basic macro so i'll just copy it and paste it right here so thank you guys this is it for the video